um, HTTM means a uh, study data tabulation model. Why we are using HTTM means standardizing the data based on the raw data on the CRF. Actually, uh, we can get this CRF from the client. CRF means case report form. Based on the case report form, they will give raw data for us. As per uh, HTTM IZ, we can standardize the raw data. For standardizing the raw data, we can go for annotate, annotation. Uh, CRF needs to be annotated. After annotation done, we can do domains. First, we can follow DM domain, then SESV. DM means uh, demographic data, like uh, subject level information, uh, like gender, birth DTC, treatment start date, treatment end date, participation end date, is uh, RFIC DTC, reference start date, uh, DM DTC, demographic collection date, uh, RFXST DTC, RFX. And it is a, all that information should be covered on the demographics. SV means schedule of assessment visits, what and all visits present on the protocol. Based on protocol, actual visits we can collect under SV data set. What are the visits subjects should follow under study? That visit should be captured under SV. SV. Next, SV subject element. Element should fall under which. Uh, which element like uh, which phase is screening treatment follow-up we have three elements to so screening treatment follow-up subject should fall under which element we can capture that data in sc next to comments uh, subjects having any comments uh, in the throughout the study that comments should be captured under comments domain next to adverse events subjects having any adverse events subject uh, exposure with any uh, adverse event throughout the study that adverse event should be captured under ae domain subject having any medical history before coming to this study that medical history should be captured under MH domain. Next to uh, subjects having any vital signs data like uh, before screening, after screening, during treatment, uh, mm, uh, they are conducting, they are collecting vital signs from the subject like systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, heart rate, respiration rate, temperature, all these should be comes under vital signs. We can map under the vital signs data. Next to elaborate Laboratory data, laboratory data having subject got exposed with any laboratory data like uh, chemistry, hematology, immunology, serum pregnancy, all these type of uh, category wise, laboratory category wise, we can map LB data. Okay. These are the things we can follow HTTMs. In HTTMs, mainly we can standardize the data based on RAW. Okay.